pH meter is one of the most important instrument into any analytical laboratory because we need to measure the pH during preparation of buffer or preparation of mobile phase for HPLC or any another reagent. So it is also important to calibrate the pH meter to keep it within the acceptable variation. And to calibrate the pH meter, we need to use a certain number of buffer solutions. And if you look at the uh, general chapter given into the USP, that is chapter number 791, you will find the two different parameters as a part of the calibration of the pH meter. The first number, the first parameter is the slope and the second parameter is the offset. So yes, in this video, we are going to talk about how these two different parameters can be calculated during the calibration. And here we go with the presentation now. So the pH value is calculated by using the Nernst equation and that is you can see the Nernst equation in onto the screen. So this is the way the pH value can be calculated by using suitable pH electrode. So let me also show you now. And here I am going to explain you how the slope and the offset value for calibration or during the calibration of the pH meter can be calculated. So if you see this screen over here, there is something called as the pH and the millivolt. Now if you go back to the Nernst equation, the, the pH gets measured in terms of its potential difference and the potential is calculated in terms of let us say millivolt and if you further go deep you will identify that the this particular factor the 2.303 into RT divided by NF this is something called as the slope of the, the pH calibration curve and the value of this slope will come around 59.16 okay or minus 59.16 during the ideal conditions if you include uh, the, ga the gas constant value the temperature in kelvin the n is equal to 1 as the valency of ion then faraday constant you will find that the slope comes to a 59.16 millivolt so what this indicates that for every one pH unit change, the slope of the line gets changed by 59.16 millivolt or one pH unit, you know, one pH unit is equal to the change in 59.16 millivolt of the potential. And that is what with the help of this one equation, now we are going to build the, if we get the pH value and against that pH value, what should be the ideal millivolt potential or the potential in terms of the millivolt. So let me explain you with the help of very simple examples. So we are now going to talk about the pH calibration procedure and I am going to select the five different buffers or the five different standard buffers and let us say that my first pH calibration buffer is 1.68 the second pH calibration buffer is 4.01 then the 7 then 10.01 and the last one is 12.45 okay so these are the general buffers you can select during the pH calibration so what should be the value of potential at the 7 where the pH value is neutral I mean there is no transfer of ion across the glass membrane and as there is no transfer of ion across the glass membrane because our pH is at the neutral at 7 what should be the expected potential as there is no transfer of ions the expected potential should be a 0 millivolt so ideally at pH 7 you must get the potential of 0 millivolt now what should be the potential at 1.68 pH value? So do you remember we talked about uh, the 59.16 factor 
that for each one pH unit, there will be a change of 59.16 millivolt of the potential. And if I want to calculate now the pH value at one uh, the millivolt value or the potential value at pH 1.68, how I should do that? And for that, I need to first understand the difference between the two pH values. Okay, so what is this? The 5.32. So the 5.32 is the difference between the neutral pH and the 1.68. So what is the change in the pH now from neutral value towards the acidic side? It is 5.32, right? If you look at here. And as we talked about the one important term that is the each unit which is accountable for change in the potential of 59.16. So how much potential will have for the change in the pH value of 5.32? Just simply multiplying by this value by 59.16. Okay. So the ideal potential at pH 1.68 is around 314 millivolt, right? So similarly, can we also calculate the ideal potential at the pH 4.01? Okay, so what is the difference in the pH change? It is 2.99 and hence 2.99 into 59.16 is going to give me the ideal potential at pH 4.01. Similarly, let me calculate the ideal potential for pH 10.01. So I have done the difference and then 59.16 it is minus 178. Similarly, the potential at 12.45 pH will be let us see now 59.16 multiplied by it comes minus 322 and you can see a beautiful linear line we got at just below this particular table so look at the slope now absolutely the slope is going to be a minus 59.16 and then there is something called as the y intercept that is millivolt at ph0 that is 414 millivolt so when this line you know the further intercepts the y axis so there will be the value of the ph equal to 0 and that's what at ph equal to 0 you will have a uh, potential at 414 millivolt and what is the slope now so now let us talk about the percentage slope let us talk about the percentage slope so in the guideline you know the percentage slope or whatever slope value that is given into the general chapter 791 it is not the absolute value it is the relative value to the ideal slope value so what is the ideal slope value in case of the ph measurement it is minus 59.16 just look at here by keeping all the ideal values across all the phs we got minus 59.16 as the slope value so this becomes our ideal or theoretical slope value but during calibration of the ph are you going to get the theoretical value every time not right and hence we need to understand what is the deviation in terms of percent relative to the ideal slope value we got or we achieved and that is some simply the ratio of the ratio of observed slope divided by the theoretical slope value into 100 so whatever limit that is given into the 791 general chapter it is always to be calculated this way and the limit is how much 95 to 105 percent if, if i am not wrong i think this is the limit of the slope let me check once again what is the actual limit of the slope value given in usp general chapter number 
791 and it is 92105%. 92105%. Okay, so now this is the first step. But in a real situation, are we going to get the exact values of this uh, pH values or the buffer values? Not right. So let us understand that we got the millivolt value for PS7 equal to around 2. Okay, I am just trying to take the similar values to that of uh, ideal values. And for this pH uh, 1.68, let us assume that the 320 is our value. Then for pH 4.01, we got let us say around 180 as the millivolt value. Then for 10.01, let us assume we got around minus 190 as the millivolt value and similarly for ph 12.45 let us assume we got minus 320 okay so this is the way our slope value our uh, graph of the line got drawn now look at here so you can simply calculate the slope of this line which is found to be now minus 59.9478. So, what is our percent slope? The percent slope is what? The observed slope value, which is here, divided by our ideal or theoretical slope value, which is minus 59.16. And just multiply it by 100. And you got now the slope, percent slope as 101.33. So this is a very simple way of calculating the slope during the calibration of the pH, pH meter. There is second value uh, which is called as the offset now. How to calculate the offset value? So the offset value talks about, you know, ideally uh, at pH 7, what is the expected value of the potential? It is 0 millivolt. But in reality, you may have some difference from this ideal zero millivolt value. So how much is the difference? And as per the general chapter 791, your value should not differ by more than 30 millivolt. 30 millivolt is the potential uh, related to the 0.5 pH value. As the one pH value, right? One pH value stands for around 59.16 or roughly let us say 60 millivolt so the point ph value will be equal to how much millivolt 30 millivolt and that is the limit given by the general chapter 791 so let us understand now what is the offset value in this particular calibration example how one can calculate that so i am sure that you must be knowing this very popular equation of the line that is the y equal to mx plus c. So in this case, y is what? The response in terms of millivolt across the y-axis. And x is what? Our pH value. m belongs to what? The slope value. And c is what? The uh, y-intercept. So let us calculate now. Let us calculate this x because we need to calculate the x. And x equal to how much? x equal to then y minus c divided by m right i have just rearranged the above equation and now let us understand what is the y in our case what should be the y if you want to understand the x at ph 7 okay uh, we are targeting we are targeting in ideal situation at the ph 7 the y should be around 0 millivolt, right? The y should be around 0 millivolt. And hence that, if you calculate further this equation, x equal to now, y will be 0, right? Now minus. What is the c we got as per the above equation? That is 490, okay? So 490 divided by, what is the value of slope we got it is again minus 59 point let us say 9 okay i have just taken the values from the above table right so this is going to my uh, the offset value so let me calculate 
how much offset that we have got in this particular calibration okay so uh, the 0 minus 419 is going to be a uh, minus 419 minus 419 uh, divided by okay divided by okay so let me further simplify this and this x equal to uh, minus 419 divided by minus 59.9 so this minus minus will get cancelled and x equal to again uh, 419 divided by uh, so called 59.9 so we are very close to the offset calculation now and let me bring the calculator once again okay so 419 divided by 59.9 so what is the value we got? 6.99. We got the value of uh, 6.99 or roughly 6, 7.0. Okay. So let me take 6.99. So what this indicates that our observed offset value is not actually giving the exact 7.00, but it gives the pH value of 6.99. So again to calculate that, now this we got the pH value now. So to calculate the offset value, to calculate the offset value, we need to understand, you know, what is the value of one pH unit. So one pH equal to how much millivolt? It is ideally 59.16 millivolt. Now what is the difference in the pH measurement we got? What is the offset in the pH value we got? 7 minus uh, 6.99 that is how much pH unit 0 0.01 pH unit so if the 1 pH unit equal to 59.16 millivolt what will be 0 0.01 pH accountable for and I will say x millivolt and do you understand from where this 0 0.01 come look at here 6.99 pH because as per this calculation, we calculated that, you know, the line cross at the, when the value of y axis is 0, is at 6.99 pH. Okay. And this is what the 6.99 pH is our offset pH value. 1 pH unit equal to 59.16 millivolt. So this difference, we are supposed to get the actual 7.00 pH value but we end up getting the 6.99 so what is the difference in the value it is only 0 0.01 so we need to calculate now this 0 0.01 ph value will be accountable for how much millivolt and let us say that this x millivolt now equal to a simple cross multiplication of 0 0.01 into 59.16 divided by 1 so how much it will be and let us calculate it once again so it will be uh, 0 0.01 into 59.16.59 it will be 0.59 so our offset value now in millivolt is equal to 0 0.59 millivolt okay so this is a simple way of calculating the slope as well as offset value during the ph meter calibration okay so i have gone in little detail details so that you know uh, sometimes we do not realize the fundamentals concepts behind the calculation of few very critical and important terms and I am sure that you know, the slope and offset values are very important as per as calibration of the pH meter is concerned. I hope you must have understood now how the slope and the offset value of the uh, during pH calibration can be easily calculated. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will meet you soon with another such kind of very informative and useful video. Till then, take care and bye-bye. See you soon.